Tell up yourself, boy, I go, go buy you no know, fat bride for you say I go get no woman. Brother, be a man. Me don't know what I'm with them nowadays, you. So, them man has to move different. I lose an 18 year old son, and I tell you, say, me see my mistake or me, me too, when it comes to going my son's them. If you never make a mistake and put back them PMP and a power, we see this progressive movement at one and things you have feeling time to come eat a fool. Yeah? If you never make a mistake and put them back in a power, dog, me am going to suffer like cartel case well let's go through the factors one by one one you have the strength of the prosecution's case i thought the prosecution had a pretty decent case at trial the first time around Mook are running pan chopper every day the police run in to protect white people in america but they don't protect black jamaican people I'm mean, nearly lose me nine hundred thousand dollars. i never turn up strong all man out there if you want to see money starts staying in your life Woman. Like I give me viewers and subscribers. Hope everybody having a lovely morning, a lovely afternoon, a lovely evening, and a great day. My viewers and subscribers. Hope all of my subscribers them doing good. So before we get into the blog, make sure you say stop here at the right now and click the like button and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell. So my viewers and subscribers, the world boss case that come up again. Vibes cartel case is out again. And they might decide if they might do a retrial right now or if they might set vibes cartel free. And I don't know see how the month yet for going, but it seems like uh, uh, next week it will go on before the month done because I don't know how the matter takes so long so I've missed Dee and Jackson Miller come up with the case and I break it down so they can understand it so I don't have to stay tuned for that my viewers and subscribers so also I've missed Dee and Jackson Miller come up with Mark Golden and I say Mark Golden for leave up because Jamaica Labour Party are the best party in the world Jamaica my viewers and subscribers and I say Andrew when I say do a great job and Nigel Clark I do a great job is it so I don't have to stay tuned for that I also have 119 come out and I talk about the same get scam 900,000 my viewers and subscribers and the man I say yo him did have to stand up on him foot so him could have get back him 900,000 the man has said yo a lot of people because the people them who scam him them have a big car dealership business place is it and the man has said oh the government now they're not about that so now have to stay tuned viewers and subscribers so also have more updates so we now have to just watch the video to the end so they can get the full understanding of viewers and subscribers so i get into it right now yes all man out there if you want to see money start staying in your life a vibe woman we will not talk about the party. Vampires, we will not talk about the party. The, the richest man them right now, I'm going to have a woman. man. Ask any man out there, we will talk about a woman. You know, see how his skin start get nice. In fear start chin down. In start look good. But it was avoiding them. Nothing. Brother, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you just understand, if you never jerk off yet, try later on. Weekend. Ah, my brother, I'm out. I'm out. please. Try back your fist. Weekend. No follow nobody. Just go lock up in your bathroom. Weekend. And go on your phone. And just put it on phone up. And just put power on girl. Fat pum pum. And just jerk off. I tell it Ross difference. Ain't nothing no different. Anytime you keep your hood empty, no woman can shoot you. Listen what I said. Anytime you keep your sperm, your, your seed bag empty, they can shoot you. Brother, me a one on one tell you, go jerk off. Nothing When you see them, see Can you not earn a youth? Let me tell you something. <coughs> Don't make them trick you. Just like how you see they say, they have their rabbit and their bullet. God make you with any palm. Jerk off and you won't have the feelings of fear. Listen, listen what I say. Brothers, two things I have you. Jerk off and what she has said, you can see through it. 
jerk off or whatsoever she has said. Me not stop. All I man them, we don't have to accept it, man. We just have a pint in a time where we don't say no. That a yes. Don't say one word. Mr. Blake. Mr. Blake. Let me tell you something. How we are running man is fear. You don't have to all in one time. Mr. Jerk off. Just make your brother then go try. And by tomorrow morning, it talk, I don't know if you answer one girl phone. Go work. And talk work by yourself. Look ya. Me never see this a come up here so yet. And me talk see it a come up. Me talk, listen. Jerk off. Cut the power. You know why? Enough man get chopped because in sperm bag full up of too much oil and it that feel like in Afi. No, brother. Alright. Remember, say when you come in, the woman where you just come. Pardon you. If you don't really like her, you don't want to see her at that time. Brother, man, tell them. If the man don't really like you, one thing come in here like poison. Listen, me, ladies. Ladies, you know things are not special. Never give you a secret. You see, if the man not like you, one thing come in here like poison. You know I see you. Listen. Ladies, you know just, you know just don't get it. Listen to me, ladies. If the man don't like you, if the man don't like you. When he come, he wish if he could have just press one button, so boom, and he disappear. All I man in the life, tell them say no joke, baby. Yes, some viewers and subscribers, one for no one to think about Cargo you know, because man, I tell you, say, Cargo is one big comedian, you know. especially the man, them one for no one to think about what everything with Cargo has said. Don't forget to leave in the thoughts and opinion in the comment section below, even the woman, them too. One for no one to think, we are getting to the rest of the review. Alright, mess up, mess up, mess up, mess up. So, news came out of Parliament yesterday that the government will be giving up to $400,000, $400,000 to people as a grant to people who lost their homes um, in the burial hurricane because of the burial hurricane. See, $400,000. Now, we don't really see a lot of that to circulate. We don't really see that go viral. What we see people trying to proliferate or try to um, disseminate is done on this poll, the second poll in a few months. The desperate PMP, but the People's National Party, is so desperate for the good news that they actually put forward another poll. Then, you know, just, you know, just poll the people and they don't get And claim say, you know, I'll leave. So you have to go back and poll the people again to find out if you're still a leave. You see, my holding on a British citizenship dilemma. Yeah? took the little hype or whatever they may try to um, mislead the people them with from this from the down and the support earlier on this year. Right? The Marky British saga totally totally erased that little hype there where Mark Wolin and him 
father as they are running. So now them things are through the hurricane and Jamaican people moved on from this citizenship argument. Yeah, because I promised the people themselves, I'm going renounce. Yeah? Him thinks that the Jamaican people them now, because they go through a hurricane and they forgot about the, the dual citizenship, the pledge of allegiance to the king. Him thinks that now he's out of the woods now and everybody forget about it. So, I go put forward another poem. Listen to me people. The current administration, yeah, is one of the best administrations Jamaica has ever seen, hands down. We have one of the best finance minister ever, Nigel Clark. Listen to me, me sure say whether PMP or GLP in power. Me I go work, me I go still do my show them, me I go still able to feed my people them. But you see, one of the Jamaican people, if we never made a mistake and put back them PMP in a power, we see this progressive movement at one. And things you have feel them time to come eat a fool. Yeah? If you never make a mistake and put them back in a power, dog near no supper. I don't know why JPS been dealing with people, the way they deal with people, so for so long. It's because the PMP sell out JPS enough. I don't know what in a Gilbert. There was a big scandal, zinc scandal, right? When them claim the people that we, 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 we go said that the man ain't get zinc for gay people, they must sell the zinc them. Zinc. We don't know what that case they did then. But we have never seen a PMP administration that help people build back homes after they lost their homes to any hurricane. Well, let me see, I have never seen it. That's to be clear. Me don't know if you ever see that. But this administration where them claims they don't care about poor people. Look at what Andrew and his administration is doing. People, don't make Mark Gordon and his father as them trickle now. We not Dan Anderson poor. Dan Anderson, in my opinion, is conducting polls to favor the People's National Party. Yes, some viewers and subscribers. So, Mr. Vegas run out and I say, one of vote back for the People's National Party, which is the PMP. The man I say, oh, the Jamaica Labour Party, right, you know, which is the JLP. The man I say, oh, them are run the thing, right, you know, and them are create prosperity in Jamaica. And the man I say, Andrew, one do a great job. But more often, you know, one of the things you see, different things you are Mark Gordon now for stepping in, right, things you are Andrew, one for left in the seat and him for remain the Prime Minister. One for now, one of the viewers and subscribers. So, don't forget to leave, you know, that's an open in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell we are getting to the rest of our review to the cartel case well let's go through the factors one by one one you have the strength of the prosecution's case i thought the prosecution had a pretty decent case at trial the first time around this time it might be affected by another of the factors which is the availability of evidence for the retrial now the court of appeal at the retrial hearing had been asking about the availability of witnesses they hadn't seemed quite satisfied with the prosecution saying yes man the witnesses are available they wanted a much more detailed account you know we call witness a witness a said he's available we call witness b witness b said she's available later on though the prosecution did make reference to a table that said was in the documents they had given to the court and they seemed to suggest that that table would answer the questions of the court well we didn't hear what was in the table or see it so i don't know the extent to which it goes to satisfy the courts i'll leave that one there the issue of exhibits though is another thing because one of the defense lawyers john clark at the retrial hearing pointed out that there had been 25 exhibits at trial but he said only 16 had been verified as being available for the retrial and he said that in those exhibits that had not been verified were some of the most important ones, including, for instance, the DVD that was said to have a video of the murder, also the DVD that had the voice notes. He also said some of the exhibits the defense had relied on for their case work had not been verified either, such as the signature of the, of the eyewitness as well as a letter to the public defender. Now, I have to tell you, I want to know what happened here 
Are the exhibits available? They lost. So we can't find them. So we forgot to verify them. I'm really curious as to what happened here. But in the meantime, whether we're here or not, this has to be something that the court takes into account. Then you have the seriousness of the offense. Well, this is a murder case. You can't get more serious than that. So that would be something that would weigh in the prosecution's favor. Then you have the time and expense of a new trial. This, I think, is going to be a big issue and maybe even the biggest issue in this case. You've probably heard that the trial lasted 64 days, one of the longest, if not the longest, in Jamaican history. 30 witnesses were called, 24 by the Crown, 6 by the defense. And the judges in the Court of Appeal at the hearing were asking a lot about this issue, the time a new trial would take and the expense. Also, in terms of time, a retrial could be even longer than the first trial because the defense have given notice that they plan to challenge some of the exhibits, some of the evidence. Then you have the effect of a new trial on the accused, and at the retrial hearing, the defense made a big thing about the deteriorating mental and physical health of Vibes Cartel and the impact that a new trial would have on him. One of his lawyers, Isaac Buchanan, told the court that according to the doctors, a new trial would have a serious effect on him that he'd be likely unable to last through a new trial. And this was material that was put before the court in the form of medical reports, you know, affidavits from doctors, medical reports from doctors. So that is likely to be a factor in favor of Cartel and his co-accused. Then you have the length of time it could take to have a new trial as well as the length of time it is from the time that the murder took place. So according to the prosecution, Lizzo was murdered in August 2011. Cartel was arrested in September 2011. So we're already talking about nearly 13 years from the commission of the offense to this retrial hearing. And the men have been in custody for most of that time. In addition, we don't even know when a retrial would be. Yes, some viewers and subscribers. So, Miss Dean Jackson Miller, I break down the whole vibes going to the case, and I say it can be a retrial and it can don't be a retrial. So, him can forward out and them can do a retrial. Some of viewers and subscribers want to know what you think about the whole vibes going to the case because it seems like them take too long with the case or them I try to cook up something for keep vibes going to be and bars. Want to know what you think? Don't forget to leave in the thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so I get into the rest of the review. With the boy picking them because you know, system lose one more day. So, my experience, I'm going to try to share it and I'm trying to make myself clear enough for you can understand what I'm saying. You see, when we have a little boy, them, we love them too much till we forgot to do a duty as a mother. We forgot. Because I lose an 18 year old son and me I tell you that me see me mistake or me make too when it comes to growing my sons them. We no we no want to take up certain measurements with the picnic them because we fear say them are gonna eat we we fear say them now go like we can we are gonna put them up in our government homes and we are gonna do this and we are gonna do that. Yes, mother, we feel grief, a tough love. Because when the boy them get out of hand and start do what they do and start kill people from a tender age and start do the things that we can't control them again. So me a beg you know, the lady them, the mother them will have some 14 year old, 13 year old, 15 year old, 16 year old when now here and them over to the government. And them over to the government. Yes, lock them up. You understand what I'm saying? A whole heap of we mother know so we pick their teeth. We know so they might do this. We know so they might do that. And we lie down and we sit down with it until they get out of and we can't control it. Me lose one one day so I can't tell you no. Mother, we need to stand up more because of them same boy they are cast with life. And then same boy they are going to mix up with people and go involved in a certain things. And then they go wipe out the whole of yard. So I beg on a mother. You no know, more focus when they come to boy picking them. A week here they come here and them care will come here. You no know, more folk. Take up yourself, boy, I go, go buy no fat right for you say I'll get no woman. Brother I'll be here, man. I don't know what I'm with them nowadays, you tell them and I start no different. A father they start calling and uh, uh, and that brother, I know me fuck your man get you. No call me no daddy. Brother monkey. 
mistreat me no swing them way there you know who sign the girl them to blood clot Yes, my viewers and subscribers, more of you know when you think about the mother was she lose her son because she attack her bag of things. She has enough of them nowadays, Pitney, and them put themselves in a trouble and get their mother and them whole family in a trouble. So, it's me and my viewers and subscribers, more of you know when you think about her because she really have an interesting point where she has a still. But, I know it's a very touching topic, see, but more of you know when you think, don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel where I get into the rest of the review. Done. The man who shoot the policeman in the police station in half a tree. Then he put the gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. Mr. Dion Singh. Me did warn on about him. Me did tell on about him and his wife that for years they have been ripping off Jamaicans. Then thief me money and me get it back because one one nine a play with people. But me did come out and tell no one no, no, not to bring the money go give them because they show me pictures of a vehicle and tell me say the vehicle they on the wharf and me must pay down the deposit on the vehicle and when me give them. A one million dollar me did supposed to give them but the bank only transfer nine hundred thousand per day so me give them the nine hundred thousand dollars and after me give them my nine hundred thousand dollars me could see me the vehicle nor me money but being the person who I am one one nine take it to social media and when me take it to social media They run back my money fast They beg me like a little baby To come out of social media with their name Sophia Ramson Dar Singh And her husband Mr. Dion Singh And here's them a rob poor Jamaican people of their money And the police and the authorities sit down and allow them to be ripping off poor Jamaicans of them all their money. Them own a place for Hagley Park Road. And a look up here, and also a little scammer them and chopper. Like a little chopper them. Like the little chopper them. A big established business people them. Them own DNS auto supplies on Hagley Park Road for years. Them one and next company named Sings Motors, but them keep changing the name because so they rob people to get away and to continue in them scam. So them rob people and so them change the name of the company. So they change it from Sing Motors to Knights Motors to First Motors. And 119 came in social media and I don't know about them and that's why I feel listen to 119 because I come and tell you to say don't give them the money they are rip off when I went and did my investigations I found out that a thousands of people they scam so tell, tell people say they have carp and wharf and they must make a deposit then choose some vehicles that are in high demand so when you go and you go into them big office and them big building, you are not think twice to give them your money because they look like big established people. And when you give them your money, they don't have a vehicle the wharf. And they look like an entire family at you know? Because when I went there is the son, give me the fraudulent vehicle documents and the son make up the documents and give me. One of the big son, he look like the whole family is a family of thieves. And lucky me, lucky me get back my money in the nick of time. Just before the man kill the policeman and kill himself, me get back my money. Frank Tiefin, Mr. Dian Singh, who is now dead, but his wife in a jail still. His wife named Sophia Ramsan Darcy. And the authorities, the government authorities and the police, you don't have met them a rip off people for years. Here's the Madrid for. 
And you have an agency like the Consumer Affairs Commission. When I call the Consumer Affairs Commission, them tell me, say, they might get whole heap of complaint about them, about the things. Some coolie people. She pan color one turn around yummy. Coolie people. Years. Whole heap of complaint about the Consumer Affairs Commission. And the Consumer Affairs Commission now come out to the public and warn Jamaicans that we should not carry money to give them. Just as how the Financial Services Commission, when a pyramid scheme crop up, when anybody come with an illegal investment scheme, the FSC, the Financial Services Commission, can come out and warn Jamaicans about them. Why the Consumer Affairs Commission now come out and tell me about some companies and some businesses where I rip off people. They sit down and collect taxpayers' money for nothing. All they had to do is issue a warning to the public to say, look, this company sings motors, first motors, nights motors. They are ripping off people on the door, do no business with them. The consumer affairs could do that. The police could have done that. Because a whole heap of people got to the police about them over the years. And them, the, the things were still getting away with it. As though somebody was protecting them. It looked like the thing them that appear as money. Because you know, see the police are running upon them. Like how the police running upon the chop of them. The little youth them are mobile. The little youth them are the garrison them. We are taking back the reparations money for slavery. Where white people and slave with fourth parents for years and then they want to give them the reparations willingly. And so the little you chop you youth them are take back the reparations. As the little you them are take back the reparations. More carabine, police with long rifle and this and that run go for them. To protect white people, to protect white American people. But black Jamaican people right here were being ripped off by the things all over the country right across Jamaica and Maribah people. Even Jamaicans abroad carry their money go give them and can't get enough vehicle or no money. And we don't see more car running with their long gun like how the more car running from the chopper them. More car running from the chopper every day. The police running to protect white people in America. But they don't protect black Jamaican people. And I nearly lose me nine hundred thousand dollars. I never turn up strong. Me hard earn money gone down the drain because more cannot protect we. The police now protect we. The consumer affairs commission now protect we. Yes, if you are subscribe, I see what I'm a clock. I see what I'm a now call or preserve and get all there. So thanks for watching the video till the end. Thanks for like the video. If you don't like the video, make sure you say like the video right now. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, make sure you say click the subscribe button right now and click the notification bell so you'll never miss the next update. Every time I upload a new video, we get a personal notification straight to your phone. So my viewers and subscribers, I'm out. Thanks for the support.